Are you ready to take your designs and travel planning to the next level? Well, you're in luck. I'm a UX designer where I build web and mobile applications every day, but on weekends, I love getting out and exploring new destinations. So whether you're just getting started in UX design or you just wanna learn how to make an aesthetic travel itinerary, I'm gonna walk you through how to create a stylish planner that you can share with your friends and family using a popular design tool called Figma that's used widely in different industries. I'll go over basic features like font selections, artboards and frames, auto layout, alignment, masking, and more. So let's get started. Start off opening a Figma design file and getting to know the new layout they just released. The left panel can be used to make a separate pages and look at all the design layers once you start adding design elements. The right panel is going to help you adjust your designs with features like changing dimensions, colors, fonts, and using auto layout. And the bottom panel will use to add shapes and frames. Let's create an artboard. Click on frames and you'll see dimensions appear on the right for different sizes. They have set frames you can choose if you want to make a mobile application, desktop application, or tablet. In our case, I just want a standard PDF size paper, so I'll select the letter size. Now we're going to add rectangles to make the layout by clicking on the bottom panel and dragging your mouse. I'm making the top section for the header and another box to add a map later on. Then I'm going to add a third box to add restaurant recommendations. If you're a Mac user, you can adjust how far you want the boxes to be by clicking Option on your keyboard to see grid lines and that will tell you how far the padding is between objects you have selected or you're hovering on. This allows you to make things pixel perfect. Now let's add text. Click on the T to add a text and for this we'll make a header and subheader. I'm calling it Italy three-day itinerary because I'm going on an Italy trip in a few weeks and I'm super excited for it. You can change the font size by using the typography dropdown on the right-hand panel. Sometimes I like to download third-party fonts, so I found a font called Little Johnny from this website called whatafont.com. That's what I want to use for this case. I'm also going to use Futura as a font for my subheader and adjust the size to 22 in font weight medium. You can also change the spacing between the letters to make it more minimal by increasing the percentage on the side over here. Now let's add the recommended restaurants in the third box. We can use Futura in size 10, but for the body, we can switch it up and use another favorite font of mine called Lado. And I'll jot down the recommended restaurants to highlight. Okay, now let's make the schedule. We're going to add the table headers first using our subheader font called Futura to make three columns one for time, one for activity, and another one for location. I'm going to add a line using the line tool from the bottom navigation to separate the header from the body content. You can change the style of this line easily too using the right panel and selecting the stroke style. I'm going to make this a dashed line and I want them to be four pixels long so I can adjust it over here. I also have the option to change the color, so I'm going to change it to a gray color using my color picker over here. What I want to do next is make the date stand out, so I'm going to add a text for the date, September 1st. And now let's talk about something called auto layout. To do this, we'll right click and make this date text into a group. Then you can select the auto layout icon on the right panel. And then we'll make the padding around all the edges 8 pixels, from the left to the right and from the top and bottom. We can also use a fill color to this by clicking on the plus icon and using the color picker. I'm going to make this a light blue color. You'll notice with auto layouts, as the text changes, then the size of the box automatically changes too, so you don't have to manually change it yourself. But if you want to make the date longer, the box grows with it and retains the padding. We can also add the radius and make the edges rounded. I'm going to make it 100 but this also has flexibility. You can select the independent corners icon to have only one edge be a certain dimension. For this use case, I want the left edges to be a straight edge, so I'll make that section zero. I can also change my width to a fixed size, so I'll make it 106 pixels for now. We can also make this into a component, especially if we're planning to reuse the same style multiple times. By making it into a component, if you want to change the style again in the future, then you can adjust the parent object and all the future child objects will automatically adjust. 
This is useful, especially when you have hundreds of artboards using the same element. Now let's add it to the artboard on the left. We can also add auto layout to make text align and have the same spacing. Let's add the time and let's use the body text Lado. And we can also make it right aligned. Having it be right aligned is the best UX practice for numbers because it makes it a lot easier for people to scan. We can also duplicate this style with a copy and paste and then select these two layers and apply auto layout to this. This is helpful because if you want to add a bunch of rows, it will automatically align the text and correct spacing in between when you paste a new row. This makes it super fast and less tedious or manual. Now, let's do the same thing for the remaining two columns. Activity and location, but let's make it left aligned. Now, we're gonna repeat and apply all the same things for the remaining days to fill out the schedule. Okay, this is the fun part. Let's make it really pretty. I'm going to make recommended restaurants the same blue color as the date. I'm going to also add a map of Italy that I found from a Google image search so you can see the geo view. We're going to use the masking tool so that it fits inside the shape you have. Make sure the image is on top of the box, select both the layers, right click your mouse and select use as mask. Now I'm going to add a pin icon that I found from a third party icon website I use all the time called Font Awesome. And I'm going to make it the same blue color. I'm also going to add a beautiful image of Positano that I found online and paste it into this file. This will be the itinerary header. I can use the use as mask tool again and this will make it shape inside the rectangular object I have at the top. Lastly, we'll change the font color to white. This is the itinerary. She's beautiful, she's minimal, and most of all, you can share it with your friends and family to use. Um, hopefully you're able to follow along with this and you're able to create a beautiful itinerary of your own or at least learn how to use some Figma features. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and you'll be able to potentially see some really fun upcoming travel vlogs because I'll be using this itinerary to go to Italy. It'll be really fun so I think that you'll really enjoy that. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.